97% of all water on Earth is seawater. It is in plentiful supply and is available under all climatic conditions. As a drinking water source, seawater is resilient to climate change. But if we want to drink it, we need to remove the salt using a process called desalination. Desalinating water is currently more expensive than conventional water treatments. Desalination plants, like our plant on the Gold Coast, start by treating seawater just like surface water in dams. The next step is removing the salt. Across Australia, desalination occurs through membrane treatment, where the seawater is passed through reverse osmosis membranes under high pressure to remove salt and other minerals. Desalination uses more electricity than other treatment processes. But energy requirements have reduced significantly in recent years as technology advances. Questions are sometimes asked about the environmental impacts of desalination. Does the process put marine life at risk? And what happens when the concentrated salt is put back into the ocean? Desalination plants draw seawater from the ocean through a pipe at a slower rate than the surrounding currents, which ensures fish and other sea creatures are not pulled into the inlet. The non-drinkable water, or brine, produced by desalination is very salty. When it's put back into the ocean, the flow rate is controlled so the brine is diluted as it mixes in with the seawater to minimise the impact on the marine environment. So when it comes to seawater as a water supply, seawater desalination is a climate resilient option with minimal environmental impact. The water produced is of a high quality, but energy costs are higher than those of conventional water treatment plants. Technology improvements are likely to reduce the energy consumption and therefore the cost of seawater desalination.